I'm really glad you're here, Dan. The media is all over this Native American protest up there, and we need a no BS profile on that pipeline. Who do you work for? Big oil. I'm a journalist. My job is to help you tell the best story you can. And what story is that? Whatever you write, whatever you see. Promise me he'll come back. You're with me, aren't you, Dan? Welcome to the circus. Sure you're up for this? That'll move 500,000 gallons a day. Are you here to redeem yourself or make money for somebody else? You have a responsibility to tell the truth about what's going on here. You've had some trouble with some of the workers and some of the native women. You should do some research. You know, transporting oil is risky. The question is, how do you minimize the risk? What did you mean the land is protected by the U.S. Constitution? Everything you see there legally belongs to the Sioux Nation. I was hired to find out what's going on. No, no, you were hired by us. Is he a liability? Yeah, he's the problem. It was important, Chili. I couldn't just ignore it. Why? I'm your wife! We have enough oil to last a century. But it's useless if we can't move it. We can't have him turning the tables on us. Strong warriors never stand down, even in the face of defeat. You moved a pipeline right to the mouth of the reservation at their only water source. Just let me explain. Who wrote future. this article? We destroyed their past, but you're destroying their future. America doesn't run on fairy dust. That's true.